Water evaporates into the air and condenses into a cloud. The water droplets in the cloud become too heavy, fall back to earth, and the cycle starts over again. So what if the water you're drinking right now was once enjoyed by a T-Rex? The sun's heat makes the water evaporate into water vapor. In the sky, it condenses back into water droplets. This is called a cloud. The water will remain in the sky until the water droplets become too heavy and fall back to Earth. The T-Rex water falls into the ocean. And into the water we drink. Think about it. Give me my water back. Thank you. Welp, I guess I'll be going back in time again. Let's recap, shall we? Water particles are heated by the sun and they gain kinetic energy, which means they move faster. And then they rise into the air. As a gas. The gas particles cool in the sky and condense into a cloud, which means they turn back into a liquid. When the liquid becomes too heavy, it falls back to Earth as rain. So who knows? You could be drinking dinosaur water.